If you use lifts, you already know this. Newton's third law of motion, very important for everybody. I've made videos on this, here's another one. Here's my lift, let's pretend here's my lift. With a mass of 30 kilograms in it. This lift is accelerating this thing up at 0.3, going up, which means there's a force going up. Something's pulling it up, so there's my mass. There's always gonna be a weight. Force of gravity, M times G, M is mass, G is gravity. There's gonna be a reaction, there's something going up, a different color pen, a pen. So there's gonna be, that's coming down. It's gonna be going up because there's a, an acceleration, I've given you that. We gotta find what R is. It's not in balance, so it's not balanced. So here's the formula, M, A. That's the force going up in it, because F equals M, A, and there's a force. That's got to equal, take away mg. We've done that before in the last video. Put your numbers in. My mass is 30. My acceleration is 0 0.3. That gives me nine. That's got to equal, which we don't know. Take away mg coming down. M is 30. Gut is gravity. Do a bit of maths. That gives you nine equals, take away 294.3. So work that out. I'll do it up here. It's going to put it down here. 9 plus 294.3 will give me the reaction or the force coming up. That's going to be 3.3 3. 3 newtons. That means for this thing to go up like that, it's got to be force pulling it up of 303.3 3 to overcome the weight and to accelerate it like that. Isaac Newton, brilliant. What a guy. Over and out.